Finally. It is the end for you, my lord Sith. <laughs> Welcome to another installment of drawing myself as something that's from pop culture. I've made one of these videos in the past. It was drawing myself as a bender from Avatar The Last Airbender. I decided I was a firebender. You should go watch it. It was a lot of fun to make. So I wanted to do another one because if you guys haven't noticed, I get really obsessed with things all at once. And if you've been paying attention to my community tab, my Instagram, literally just my voiceovers at this point. And I am very, very, very obsessed with Ahsoka. Uh, I've gotten really obsessed with Star Wars again. It seems that as a 13 year old, Kira had been heavily influenced by the Star Wars films. I love Star Wars, I always had. I was that kid. One of the ways I learned how to draw was actually from a how to draw Star Wars book. It was one of the most influential things for me really got me into art. I remember one of the most proud moments in my life was I was trying to draw Padme from the book and I kind of got it right, kind of, sorta. In hindsight, it was probably bad, but I was so happy then. It made me so happy. So since Star Wars makes me incredibly happy, I'm going to just draw myself as a Jedi today. I love these videos. They're extremely self-indulgent. So if you guys remember from last time, I did try to have some criteria for like what kind of bender I was, how I would draw myself, what my power were, you know what I'm saying. Um, so I'm going to try to have some kind of criteria this time as well, even though last time whenever I said that I was going to have criteria and stick to it, I totally didn't. And in the end, I just decided to go with what I wanted to do. But today is gonna be different. I'm just kidding. No, it's not. I'm going to do just whatever I want to again. So I haven't really thought this through, but I'm thinking that the two criteria I'm going to use are uh, like number one, uh, taking a what color is your lightsaber quiz, and then number two, like what kind of Jedi would you be like your alignment? I want to figure out my Jedi alignment because my theory is that I would be like pretty neutral. I think that I would be a gray Jedi. I want to be a gray Jedi. I think that gray Jedi are objectively the best, the most moral, and it makes the most sense thematically. Which George Lucas, because he is obsessed with his narrative, he refuses to go the gray Jedi route. Dave Filoni. Oh, boy, I'm depending on you. Help me. Dave Filoni. Am I only out? Please. <laughs> So I'm going to have this up on screen while I take it, but the first quiz I'm going to use is from BuzzFeed. It's called, what does the color of your lightsaber say about you? Question number one. You are a commander in a battle during the Clone Wars. Your friend is trapped and in pain, but not in danger. What do you do? Uh, the, the, the. I think I would tell them to hang on until I can spare myself from the battle. I mean, I guess before that I would probably tell you know, other members of my troop to like go help them or something, you know, but me personally, if I'm a commander, I feel like I need to keep focused on the battle because it's not just their life at risk, it's like multiple people, you know. Which fighting style would you prefer during combat? Intuitive, vicious, defensive, acrobatic, offensive, experimental, balanced, or aggressive? So I consider myself to be a pretty intuitive person, so I'm gonna go with intuitive. <laughs> What would be your greatest weakness to overcome? I feel like I would either be between too emotional or can't take things seriously, but I feel like it would be too emotional, I don't know. I'm not sure though. I feel like I can compartmentalize decently well and not get too emotional whenever there's like a lot at stake, but at the same time, I feel like I break down a lot too. I mean, don't we all? I'm gonna go with too emotional. Emotion is a path to the dark side. How would others describe you? I'm terrible at these questions. Have others answer this question for me. I can't. Resourceful, adventurous, hilarious, constructive, protective, responsible, idealistic, empathetic. Um, well, not hilarious. 
maybe constructive or resourceful. I'm kind of always doing my thing. Maybe resourceful? Sure. You feel you may be consumed by the dark side. What do you do? Heck yeah, dude. Give into it. The dark side is more fun. Understand the dark side, but never give into it. I don't know. I feel like I, I might be understand the dark side, but never get into it because I feel like that's the most gray Jedi thing. What do you look for in a friend? Enthusiasm. Similar ideals, kindness, excitement, commitment, loyalty, quirkiness, and rationality. I don't know, I feel like loyalty, that's such a basic person answer, but I think it's important for friends to be loyal. I mean, my friends have to be loyal. I've had like the same friend group all through high school and into my early 20s and like, you have to be loyal to put up with me, so. Which of these would you rather do? Fight alongside Anakin and Obi-Wan, be a general in the Clone Wars, be a pilot and captain of your own ship and crew, Fly using a jetpack to fight your enemies. Okay, I see you, Mandalorians. Weapons are part of my religion. Go undercover to report on the Empire and the Rebellion. Search for important Jedi or Sith artifacts. Teach a Padawan or be the leader of an entire planet. Okay, so not the last one. I don't know, because my instinct is to go with fight alongside Anakin and Obi-Wan, but I'd prefer not to be that close to Anakin during Order 66. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go with fly using a jetpack to fight your enemies because it's like, it's not like, oh, this is a thing that you do. Like being a general or being a Jedi fighting the Clone War. It's like, it's literally just like, do you want to be Jango or Boba Fett? Is that what you want? Yes, that's what I want. Or Din Djarin. Ooh, okay. Okay. All right. I got white lightsaber, which is kind of what I was hoping to get. Let me read it. White lightsabers exist when crystals are in their purest form. They originally red lightsabers made to bleed before being rescued uh, and freed of their pain. I can't read. Notable users, Ahsoka Tano, I have problems. You are a very fun person and an incredible sense of humor and a lot of energy. I don't know. You can be dramatic at times. Okay, this is starting to sound more realistic, but are very optimistic and loyal. Okay, you lost me again. You bring out the best in others because you're affirming, warm, and inspirational. If you immensely care about something, you are very dedicated and driven, you may become bored easily and crave adventure and excitement, but you can't deal with conflict or confrontation. So far, lightsabers say that I'm gonna have white lightsabers. I'm just gonna go with that because it's the lightsaber color that I want. So I'm going to take this test on allthetests.com. Okay, question one. Your order demands you go to search for force-sensitive younglings so that they can be trained. Sadly, the strongest one of you found is an ugly and unknown breed of alien. Okay. Ow. You think, this unfamiliar species are needed for balanced teachings. I take it to save from prejudice. Seems a little... Appearance doesn't predict value. I will take it to my order. I would go with the first one that says like, this unfamiliar species are needed for balanced teachings. I will take it to save it from prejudice, but it seems like a little like weird too. And the last one's also kind of okay. Like the appearance doesn't predict value. I will take it to my order. I don't know, I'm gonna go with the first one. The order will give you a youngling to train. Will you take him and instruct him? If it is the wish of the order, I will consider it a privilege. I may pick my own students, sure, but I won't instruct their favorites. Um, I'm sorry, I can't read, by the way. I've never, I never learned how to read. Hi. What's up? I'm Jared at 19. I never learned how to read. I don't know. I'll go with the one in the independent. Sure. Why not? Why not, dude? Your own master who trained and taught you now asks you to do something against your, those principles, your response. Luxury of principles. I don't know. If it's really something that's against what I think, I'm just not going to do it. I'm a rebel. Fight me. Master, Jedi Master. Fight. Okay, one of your missions, you receive a gift from the person you just helped. Which do you choose? Oh, maybe a token or something valuable. Like, I feel like rare metal or cloth, that might be kind of cool. Like, I could sort of include it in my Jedi robes. Or, you know, if it's Beskar. Ah, uh, Beskar. Beskar. I'd also be okay with that. 
could you ever take the responsibility to lead troops into battle? To lead a battalion assigned to you by your order? Yeah, I think I could. Could I do it well? I don't know the answer to that, but I'd do it. I'm gonna I'm gonna be cocky on this one and be like, yeah, they'll achieve much under my lead, even though I'm I'm not much of a leader in real life, but I would like to be. Rivals have ambushed you. You and your student stood your ground, but then the youngling you were teaching dies beside you fighting. Oh fun. Uh, what do you do? I would avenge him. I'd be like, alright, now it's on. You did something that made me angry. I don't like that. If you do something to my student, I'm out for blood. What would be the reason you are never allowed in your order's council? I'm too eccentric. I have my own ways of solving problems. That's probably the one most realistically for me. I'm gonna go with I'm too eccentric. I feel like in any kind of professional setting, I'm just weird. Like I act weird, I am weird. If I find anyone who understands my sense of humor, then it's game over, dude. I'm gonna be weird. How do you act in an important battle? Well, I like this one so far. I attack, I distract, I am everywhere. You can count on me if you want to turn the tide. I mean, I feel like this other one is more my speed though. It just says, I stand my ground, defend, gain some ground, proceed. You can gather me if things go badly. I feel like that's, I'm sort of the backup. I'm a wingman. Do you believe romance is a bad thing? Mm. Well, I mean, no, I am in a relationship. But I think you need a reason to fight. I'm going with, it's not a bad thing to love. It heals and empowers. But also, okay, can I point out that romance and love are two entirely different things? Because romance is like sort of a bit fleeting, but love is not necessarily. All right, final question. How do you feel about lightsabers, dude? <laughs> One needs to make his own personal lightsaber supporting uh, the colors of his order. Um, I'm gonna go with the first one. I like that it's like someone needs to make their own, you know, which is the backstory of my character. I think it's what it's gonna be. It's not like I took one. I didn't take one from an inquisitor. I made it myself. Also, I'm sorry for those of you who are watching this video who aren't super into Star Wars and you don't know what any of this means. Okay, my results are in. Am I Jedi or Sith? My profile is, okay. <laughs> I told you so. For 50%, you are a gray Jedi. I told you guys I was a gray Jedi. I wasn't cheating. I have not taken this before. All right, you are a gray Jedi, a lone wolf who wanders the line between light and dark, ever questioning both sides and balancing them as it pleases you. And 30%, you are a Jedi who is on the light side of the force a light side leaning gray Jedi. So for clothing style and appearance, I actually started doing some concept art even before I took these quizzes and started filming this video, but I did a page here as you can see. Right now, my clothing style I would say is probably this here. This is what I feel the most sort of connected to. I have um, an extended version here with a cape. Um, so I think these concepts are what I'm going to base the character design on. I'm just going to refine it a little bit and you know, feel it out. All right guys, we're about to get onto the design and illustration business. But before that, I have just one question for you. Do you wanna become a Jedi? This video sponsor, Skillshare, can help you do just that. Well, not literally, but Skillshare does have countless awesome classes on character design, digital art, and illustration so that you can follow your lightsaber wielding dreams on paper. Skillshare is a massive online learning community with thousands of classes available in illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, and more. Through Skillshare classes, you can deepen existing passions, discover new ones, and immerse yourself in an inspiring and creative atmosphere. Skillshare is ad-free and focused on learning, and they're always releasing new premium classes, so there are endless creative outlets to be curious about. Wanna learn how to draw anime? Skillshare's got it. Wanna learn digital art? Skillshare's got it. Wanna learn how to sculpt a mini succulent garden out of polymer clay? Skillshare's got it. And you know what else Skillshare's got? An annual subscription that is less than $10 a month. Members get unlimited access to thousands of classes, which are a combination of video lessons and a class project. Most Skillshare classes are a convenient 60 minutes or less. Classes vary from beginner to advanced, so Skillshare has lessons to fit your comfort zone and help you get out of it. Skillshare even has a few live classes available right now, so you can connect with teachers and other creatives. If you didn't catch the offer in last month's video, the first 1,000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a free trial of premium membership so that you can explore your creativity. Speaking of creativity, introduction to cartoon character design by Dennis Zilber really helped me to brush up, pun intended, on my character design leading into this video. I've been character designing for years and it's always been some of my most popular client work, but I'm always looking to improve my skills and improve my design instincts. 
Dennis's class is really cool because it walks you through a full character design from first conception to a finished rendered illustration. Not only does he discuss design fundamentals like shape, silhouette, and color, but he even dives into more advanced topics like posing, lighting, and rendering. Watching more advanced artists like Dennis create really detailed illustrations like this really helped me to understand the process better and begin applying it to my own art. I highly recommend this class. It is chef kiss. Go give Dennis's class a try and start off your 2021 by exploring your creativity and expanding your knowledge. Sponsors help the channel to grow and help me to stay focused on making videos, so go show Skillshare some love by joining using the link in the description down below. Now if you'll excuse me. So to begin with, I just started out quickly roughing in some sketches and some poses of my character because I can't like just do an illustration and design any illustration. I need to start with a character sheet because I am disorganized. Hey, so I've been working on it and uh, laying out poses a little bit. I don't know how well you guys can see this. I just wanted to show you what my first step usually is for a character design like this. This is what's called a mood board or an inspo board. The purpose of this is really to like get that foggy idea of the design out of your mind and onto a page so it looks a little bit more cohesive. I have a lot of stuff from Clone Wars in here for inspiration and just random character designs because that's what I find inspires me the most. I find the reason I'm drawn to a lot of these character designs is they kind of embody the color palette that I want for this character. So what I've done to start out here is to take some of the colors that I really like from this mood board and put it onto my canvas. And now we are back to designing. So this outfit stayed pretty close to what I did in my sketchbook. I don't know, I just like, it was in my head. It was living rent free there for a while. It's one of the reasons I even wanted to make this video. So I kind of just banged it out and I was like, yes, this is the outfit that I want my character to have. I did make a couple of edits. Like I made the armor on the legs a little bit more Clone Wars-y. And I tried to do the same with like the little gauntlets, but Unfortunately, I ended up viscerally hating the gauntlets. I don't know how to design a gauntlet, apparently. Skillshare, do you have classes on gauntlet design? I need help. Okay, probably not. Um, the hair also turned out like a little bit wacky, but I also, I kind of like it. This is my hair if I was living my true 2009 like dream. I don't know, it's kind of sick. Um, so I'm gonna talk about lightsabers here now. So enjoy that. Here we go. So the next hurdle in this design process was designing the lightsaber. So a long time ago, back in like 2011, I did design a lightsaber. It's here and it really still plays on the concept of like a gray Jedi, which I think is cool, which like, I don't think I was aware that that existed in 2011. It's called Contrast. Wow, I thought it was so cool. Anyways, I want some of the aspects of this lightsaber design to carry over into my current lightsaber design because I still like the general concept of this one. I like the clear parts where you can see the kyber crystal sort of bleeding on one side and normal on the other side. It's a pretty cool detail and I think I'm going to use that design element here too. Good gracious me, my computer is so loud, so I'm very, very sorry if you hear that in the background. He is just furious at me for all the editing I've been doing. He's an old man. He's angry. His name is Melvin. Um, my computer is named Melvin. Don't, it, it's fine. You don't have to talk about it. So I think it's now time for a little bit of backstory, TM. That's all why you're here, right? You want some juicy backstory. And keep in mind that my character development skills have not progressed past about the third grade. So if I get any of this wrong, all of you Star Wars purists out there, I'm going to need you to just sit down and maybe have some water because I can't, I haven't read all the books. I'm a little ignorant. I am a movies and show person. I, as I mentioned earlier, I do not know how to read. So I have not read the books. I'm too close to the microphone, aren't I? Okay, so this character in my brain, I think she's like a former Sith, maybe an apprentice or trainee. She's a former apprentice. That's why uh, her lightsaber is white because she made it. She made them the kyber crystals to bleed because she was dark side evil. And then she was later on just like, okay, just kidding. They're not going to bleed. I want to be good now. 
you know? So after that, I think maybe she went on like Jedi walkabout, you know, just exploring and going around. Um, I'm thinking this character is very sort of like religious. The Sith tend to be strangely like religious and spiritual, which I think is really interesting, but they're more in touch with like emotions and like the abstract concepts, which I, I think will be part of this character, even though I don't think that's very me. I can't take anything seriously. Even though this character is sort of supposed to be my Jedi sauna me, I still want the character to like make sense within the universe and sort of have a place and not just be like it me in Star Wars, because I would have absolutely no business existing in the Star Wars universe, so. In terms of the timeline of this character, I'm thinking that her origin sort of is that she was one of the younglings that was taken by the Separatist and Palpatine near the beginning of the Clone Wars. Kind of like Ventress, like she never was officially a Padawan to a Sith Lord, but she was trained in the dark side. Um, I also like how the Sith are like, oh, there's only two, a master and apprentice. And then it's like, have you heard of literally five or six Sith? Like there's obviously more than two. Where did this two Sith thing come from? So to continue this timeline, I'm thinking that sometime after Order 66, during the war between the Rebellion and the Empire, she at some point was just like, I do not want to be evil. I'm not evil. I'm not really a fan. I'm going to leave the Empire and she escapes somehow. And at that point, I'm thinking she kind of just like escapes the outer rim and sort of wanders around the galaxy a little bit. Maybe for a while, she's like a sellsword or a mercenary because she needs some, you know, money to be able to survive. And during this time, I'm thinking that she also kind of goes on walkabout a little bit. Like they talk about Ahsoka doing that at some point and it's like, it feels like a very spiritual experience. Um. So I'm thinking maybe she tries to discover ancient Sith or Jedi temples and tries to find places to meditate where it's like really force sensitive because she just wants to know more. She wants to expand her abilities. And during this time, I'm thinking that she also discovers a way to purify her lightsabers because she did have like red bleeding Sith lightsabers. And then I'm thinking she purifies them herself to turn them white and thus beginning her kind of journey and transformation into being a gray Jedi or a non-aligned force user. So in present day, I feel like she spends a lot of time like exploring the galaxy, doing a lot of research and learning about the ancient Jedi and Sith and spending time helping like small societies that are affected by the war by like chasing off bandits or people who are trying to extort them or organizing trade so they can get food and like medical supplies. I think that she does like a lot of philanthropic work, you know, for the people, for the community to try to right her wrongs of being, you know, murderous and sithy in her younger years. So I'm thinking she also works with the Rebellion anonymously sometimes, but she also refuses to formally join them because she has this thing of she doesn't want to disrupt the natural balance of the universe because she's like, that's the will of the Force. Two sides are gonna fight and she's not going to intervene, but she also will help the people like trapped in the middle. I think that's a very gray Jedi thing to do. Um, so that's the personality that I'm giving her. I know she's not a whole lot like me. Like I don't really have a lot of these personality traits. The only things that I would say we have in common is she being like stubborn and kind of a lone wolf. But other than that, her sort of obsession with the meditation, spirituality, I don't really have that in common. So yeah. <laughs> It also occurs to me that in the actual illustration, I drew her fighting in the Clone Wars era, and uh, she definitely doesn't become a gray Jedi until like far after the Clone Wars during like the Empire era. So that's not accurate, but it's okay. So now it's time for the part of the video where I criticize my own art. Uh, I don't, I don't hate it but I do have some things to talk about. I'm, I'm gonna try not to be too negative. You guys get on my case all the time for me being like, oh, it's not good. And you're like, it's fine, calm down. I'm trying to be better, I'm sorry. Anyways, I chose a pretty standard anime art style for this, inspired by kind of like Clone Wars, but also mostly mine. And that was because I just didn't have a lot of time to get it done. Like I've started college classes again, so like, I'm short on time and I just wanna draw things, but I also have engineering homework to do. So um, I tend to pick square compositions right now because uh, I like to post on Instagram and if it's not kind of square-ish, then it just looks bad. 
but here's the thing. Square compositions suck. I hate working with them. I don't think they look good. Like they're fine for maybe a portrait or a couple things, but if you're doing anything like action-based or cinematic that's supposed to look good, I don't know, like a scene, it just doesn't work. And I regret not choosing a composition that would have looked nice with this because I think the square is just like so flat. I do not like it, but it's fine. I feel like if I chose a good composition for the character pose itself, it would have looked good, but you know what? It's fine. The rest of it, I'm pretty happy with. I had a lot of fun with the glowing and the lightsabers. Uh, I had a lot of fun drawing all of the little elements in the background. I think the pose itself is pretty like decent. I struggle with action poses, but I like, I don't know, the way it's arranged. It just doesn't look good in this composition. I do like how the shading came out. I like the little lightsaber blasty things. Uh, I enjoyed drawing the random clone gunship and uh, the Empire ships in the, sh the sky. Well, Republic ships, rather, in the sky during this time. Um, and the trees and everything. Uh, I don't know. It was a fun illustration to do. I just feel like maybe it could have been better. It doesn't read well as a thumbnail. I don't know. It's not great. The stuff I do like is the snowy setting. Um, I like the way my character looks. I think she looks pretty cool. Like the design itself, I'm pretty satisfied with. Love that. It's just, you know, everything else. <laughs> so I think in the future, I'm going to do a bigger illustration featuring this character, but I'm going to paint it and make it look like actually nice. So um, if you wanna see that, stick around and subscribe, I guess. But I'm very pleased with the design. I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'll cosplay it at some point. I think that would be kind of fun because uh, I don't have any Jedi cosplays yet. I really want to cosplay Ahsoka, but that's going to take me literally forever. So maybe in the meantime, I'll do this. Also, if you have any suggestions for the Drawing Myself As series for me to do in the future, please leave them in the comments below because I really enjoy doing these. They're pretty fun. And as we all know, there are now unlimited franchises to capitalize off of, and I would absolutely love to do that. So pop down there, leave me a comment. Anyways, these are the finished products. Let me know what you think and if you like them. And if you are as bothered as I am by the square compositions that I chose, I don't like them. I will not be using them in the future. Ew. That's about it for this video. I hope you guys like the design and the illustration. I certainly enjoyed it. There are some things that maybe I'll revisit in the future because I didn't feel like they turned out the best that they could, but that's just because I had time constraints and you know, I know I can do a little bit better than that. If you guys enjoyed this video and you thought it was fun and you want to do your own, I once again will be hosting like a mini challenge like I did last time for the Bender Sauna where you guys can draw your own Jedi Sonas and post them to the hashtag on Instagram and everywhere, Jedi Sona Challenge, and I'll check the hashtags and I'll post them on my story and like have a little featured place for us to all check out each other's Jedi Sonas. I think it would be really fun. I really enjoyed seeing everybody's Bender Sonas. They were so cool. If you want your Jedi Sona to be featured on my Instagram story, just DM it to me and I'll stick it on there. It is that simple. I love seeing them. I think it's a really fun way to be super nerdy and for me to see your art. And of course, if you need some help with character designing, don't forget to check out Skillshare. You do get a free trial just by clicking that link. So, hey, free stuff is great. Thank you guys for watching this far and liking and commenting and subscribing. Thank you guys so much for 50,000 subscribers. That's ridiculous. I'm a little bit shook. It still hasn't quite sunk in. Whenever I started this a couple months ago, I had like no subscribers. So that's kind of crazy. And I'm glad that you guys are getting something out of my content. I love making it for you. And I'm going to try my best to make even better content this year and really come up with fun original ideas and stuff that I want to make because I like content too. I like making it and I like consuming it. If you're a fan of the channel and you like what I do here and you want me to make more stuff, if you would be so kind as to leave a like on this video and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you'll know when I post because I don't post on any kind of schedule pretty much. That would be absolutely lovely of you and if you don't want to, that's fine too. You do you, my guy. Don't forget to leave a comment and tell me how your day was. I love reading your comments and talking to you guys. I always enjoy it so much and I appreciate every single person who comments on my videos. I try to at least read all of them. Um, if I heart your comment, that's sort of my way of knowing that I've read it. 
to myself. I also like like your comments and love them. But if I heart it, that means I know that I've read it and maybe replied to it so I, I don't miss any. So that's why if you're scrolling down in my comment section, there's just like heart, 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 because I'm trying to read everything. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Thank you for 50,000 subscribers. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm very busy. I have to go and just violently hate sand. Bye.